Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, cops learn their fate for forcing 20 Trump supporters into violent riot leading to beating. Two years ago in San Jose, California, the police allegedly forced 20 Trump supporters to walk directly into and through a violent mob of anti-Trump rioters after a Trump rally. The police should have been protecting these people and instead, put them in harm's way. This led to a lawsuit on the part of those Trump supporters against the San Jose Police Department. Attorney Harmeet K. Dillon appeared on The Tucker Carlson Show to discuss the case. Most people may have forgotten about this horrific incident. However, others still remember the ordeal and believe it was intentional to some degree by some in the police department. The victims and their sympathizers have awaited the day of justice and now, after two years, are getting that opportunity. The police involved are now learning of their fate after all of this. Dillon reported last night that the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit will not allow the police officers to seek immunity in the case. That is good news, but I would note that I believe the police were following orders and the ones who really should be held accountable here are further up the political food chain. Trump supporters, many sporting red Make America Great Again hats, who were attending a rally at the McHenry Convention Center, were met with hundreds of anti-Trump protesters as they were shepherded out of the building via a single exit. The 20 Trump supporters were beaten and bloodied by communist anarchists who destroyed cars, brandished Mexican flags and spread chaos and havoc in the streets. They chased down and beat the Trump supporters. These are some of the forerunners of the Antifa movement. They threw eggs at these people and hit them in the back of their heads with bags of rocks. Elderly people were not spared either and it is a wonder that no one was KD during all of this. Some Trump supporters were sucker punched as they tried to get to their vehicles. A video shows the angry mob kicking and attacking vehicles as the Trump supporters attempted to leave the mob scene. Clothes were ripped off their backs and glasses were snatched as Trump supporters tried to get the heck out of there. It was definitely like being in a third world country and just as violent and terrifying. Dillian told Tucker that they believe the order to send the Trump supporters into the violent mob came from the top. That means the mayor, the chief of police and supervisors were all complicit in this. Police just stood there as this happened and told others not to interfere, from 100%fedup.com. According to Law.com, a three-judge panel unanimously affirmed U.S. District Judge Lucy Coe of the Northern District of California's 2017 ruling denying the city of San Jose's efforts to dismiss the suit against seven police officers. The plaintiffs say the officers channeled them into a violent crowd on June 2, 2016, as they exited a rally for then-presidential candidate Trump at the McHenry Convention Center. Rally goers say they were punched and pelted with eggs while nearby law enforcement officers did nothing to protect them. We find the officers violated clearly established rights and are not entitled to qualified immunity at this stage of the proceedings, Senior Judge Dorothy Wright Nelson wrote for the panel, which also included Judges Andrew Kleinfeld and William Fletcher. Being attacked by anti Trump protesters was only a possibility when the attendees arrived at the rally, Nelson wrote. The officers greatly increased that risk of violence when they shepherded and directed the attendees towards the unruly mob waiting outside the convention center. Regardless of whether you're a supporter of Donald Trump, every citizen should cheer that our government will be held accountable in cases where they put citizens in harm's way, said the plaintiff's attorney, Harmeet Dillon of Dillon Law Group in San Francisco. Dillon, a Republican National Committee member, attended the 2016 rally with her husband and a law firm partner and said she was appalled by the vicious assaults. After two years of waiting, my clients are thrilled and I'm thrilled by the ruling," Dillon said. From the very beginning of Trump's campaign to become president, the overwhelming incidents of violence have come from the left. Many times they are facilitated by those in power, such as mayors and the chief of police where these attacks occur. It is long past due that the Trump supporters who have been brutalized and victimized by these bullies get their say in court and hold these thugs accountable. And the police should not be immune. They do take orders. But in the end they have to decide what is right and what is wrong no matter who tells them what to do. The treatment of these Trump rally attendees was unconstitutional and disgraceful and the actions of the San Jose police were just unfathomable. They aided and abetted in violence towards these people when they should have been protecting them. That's their job. We haven't forgotten the attacks over the last two years and we are not blind to the ones occurring now. Our reckoning over all of this will come at some point, hopefully in the legal system and not in the streets. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.